Good morning from Disney Springs. We are here on special request. Maddie LaCrosse sent us a comment and asked us to try the new February special edition cookie here at Gideon's Bakehouse. It's called the Eternal Flame. Maddie, it looks amazing. We'll be trying it in just a little while. But that's not all. We're going to try all of their cookies that are available today. They have seven. If we were to eat all of them right now, that would be about three and a half pounds of cookies. I think we're each going to get a bite of each of them. Maybe two bites. Standing out here in front of Gideon's, you can smell the vanilla. It's so rich and delicious. I can't wait to try these. I wish you could smell it, but come along with us. Let's find out how good these cookies really are. Gideon's is very popular and the line forms very quickly. They have just opened and look at how long the line is. Once you get inside Gideon's Bakehouse, the interior is really something else. As you heard already, we were challenged to come and try the special Valentine's monthly cookie. The Eternal Flame is based on the triple chocolate, so we thought we'd better try both of them together. Triple chocolate is a deep chocolate batter. They call it triple, but they say in the menu that it's really five different kinds of chocolate. Very chocolatey. I'm not sure the salt adds much to it, but it's a very chocolatey, very rich cookie. Now, the Eternal Flame is that cookie with the addition of ancho, cinnamon, and cayenne in the batter, and then chocolate covered cherries on the top. I'm not usually into spicy chocolate, and when I was unwrapping this, a little crumb came out and it was pretty spicy. But I did get with the cherry there. It's got some heat to it. Holy cow. It's delicious. But it needs cold milk, not hot tea. I kind of like it. But it definitely needs cold milk. It's got a little more heat than I'm used to, even for like regular food. And I am not used to heat in my chocolate. But I gotta say, the heat, the chocolate, the cherries, it blends beautifully. It's just surprising. Well, I can usually take a little more heat than Elizabeth can. I'm still not really a flamethrower, but I do like a little heat sometimes. But I'm gonna start with the triple chocolate like Elizabeth did. I'm going to break up a slightly larger chunk than she did. Oh wow, that is really tasty. The texture is good, the chocolate is right up front. How many chocolates do they say are in this thing? 
five chocolates. Wow, they're very good together. Wow, I really like this cookie. Yeah, there, there's absolutely no question about whether it is a chocolate cookie. No, none at all. <laughs> For presentation, this is a beautiful cookie. For flavor, I give it an eight or a nine. This is great. Now on to the pepper. Pepper chocolate. Well, it's traditional, very Aztecian. So again, I'm gonna take out a bigger chunk. I don't think the Aztecs had cherries, but we'll give it a shot. Wait for it. <laughs> I guess that's a cherry. It's, oh yeah, there it comes. Right in the back of the throat. And then it builds. <laughs> I like this. Whoa. There's another hit of that, that pepper in the back of my throat. This is a delicious cookie. The pepper is not too much for me. If I were going to make them at home, which I can't make a cookie this good at home, I make some pretty good cookies. But I think I'd leave out the pepper. It's pretty good though, and I would, I would probably get this one again for flavor. I think it's seven or eight. For presentation, it's gorgeous. The cherries really add to it, to the uh, visual effect. But I'm not sure they really add to the flavor very much, and they're a little chewy. So would I get this again? Yeah, I probably would. See, I'd rather keep out the peppers, but leave the cherries. I love them, so. <laughs> so this is the peanut butter cookie. They describe it as almost pure peanut butter dough, and then it's covered in candied chopped peanuts. So, um, this is a real peanut butter lover's cookie. Unfortunately, they said covered. It's lots of peanut butter chips and then just a few candied peanuts. So unless you get into the middle of the cookie, you're not gonna get a candied peanut. Guess what? I can do that. Oh my lord, it really is, you can smell the peanut butter. Can you see how gooey and rich that looks? Oh my goodness. I do like peanut butter, so. That is a really good peanut butter cookie. Notice that Gideon's really likes the sea salt. I'm not sure it added to both chocolate cookies as much as it could have, but it's wonderful with the peanuts, of course. Very rich, very peanut buttery. Gideon's only serves coffee, so we had to go to Starbucks and get tea. You can't have a cookie without milk or tea, at least in my family. So, um, the peanut butter definitely needs the tea to cut it, but man, if you like peanut butter, this is your cookie. Well, on to the peanut butter cookie. I like peanut butter, maybe not as much as AJ from Disney Food Blog, but I like peanut butter just the same. And the idea of peanuts and candy peanuts on the top of it sound really good. I'm really ready to give it a shot. Whoa, the crumbly. Oh, it does taste like peanut butter. And I like crunchy peanut butter, and this has peanuts in it, so it's like crunchy peanut butter. This is really a good cookie. It's nice that the peanuts are not just on top, they're inside of the cookie, too. I like that. I'm gonna have another piece. I don't think I got any of the candy peanut, so I'm gonna try some of that.
Elizabeth is right, the salt really helps on this one. I can't really taste the candied peanut overall. We have the peanut flavor in here. This is peanut up front, peanut in the back. It's just delicious. It's beautiful. For presentation, I'd give it an eight or a nine. For taste, I'd give it an eight or a nine too. This is really good and I would definitely get it again. Next up is the cookies and cream cookie. Gideon's describes it as not their prettiest cookie. They're right, but Oreos are frequently not very pretty, especially when you've been eating them a while and they're stuck in your teeth. But the neat thing about Gideon's is it's not just some sort of a topping. They actually chop up double stuffs and put into the batter. I like Oreos. I actually like them rather a lot. But this is Gideon's regular vanilla butter cookie with Oreos in and out. I actually really like, you can taste the cookie under the Oreos. It's not just Oreo, Oreo, Oreo. And so many times when you get a cookies and cream anything that's the only flavor, if I want Oreos, I go buy Oreos, right? So this is really neat that you can taste the buttery vanilla cookie underneath. Delicious. So far, Gideon's is living up to the hype. Cookies and cream made with Oreo cookies. I was raised on Hydrox cookies, which are the original sandwich cookie, but Oreos will be just fine. I'm looking forward to this. As Elizabeth said, they say this isn't their prettiest cookie. Well, they're absolutely right. This really looks like a clump of burnt wood. But I'm hoping it tastes a lot better. Actually, I've never eaten a clump of burnt wood, but I'm ready. Well, you've had some hamburgers that were pretty close. <laughs> I didn't think about it, but it really does look charred on top. That's awesome. <laughs> this tastes a lot like an Oreo cookie. I mean, not, not really, but I can taste the Oreo in there. I can taste the vanilla cookie. It's moist, it's not dry like, uh, okay, Oreos are pretty dry. This is delicious, I like it. Hmm. Gideon strikes again. On flavor, another eight or a nine. On presentation, okay, it is an ugly cookie. If you love ugly, there are two ways you can look at this. It's so ugly, it's beautiful. In that case, I give it an eight. If you're really looking for something pretty, I'd give it a one. So, pick your poison. Would I get this cookie again? Yeah, I sure would. Now comes the Gideon's Disney Springs special. They may have a cookie of the month, but here at Disney Springs, they have a special morning only coffee cake cookie with a swirl of cinnamon in the batter. It's topped with, what they say, double baked butter crumbs. By the way, I heartily suggest you go and read Gideon's menu. We'll put a link to it. Read it in a partic any particular actor's voice that makes you kind of melt a little bit because it's a wonderful menu. I think probably the owner, Steve, writes it. It's really, really fun. So, coffee cake cookie is definitely very moist and crumbly so like a coffee cake you can see that cinnamon swirl in there try to make sure i get something with some of the oh there's a nice butter crumb all by itself wow cinnamon butter vanilla wow You gotta come early. When this one sells out, it's out. And I can see why people are talking about it. The butter crumbs on top are nice and crunchy. And they blend beautifully with the extra moist. It's not really spongy because it's too crumbly for that, but just a beautiful coffee cake texture in this cookie. 
Gideon's is gonna cost us a fortune over the years. <laughs> this is one I've really been looking forward to, coffee cake cookie. I love coffee cake and I'm really looking forward to this one. I'm gonna take off a piece. Elizabeth is looking at me like I took off too big a piece. It's a quarter of the cookie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, that's delicious. The cinnamon's coming through. Nothing's over the top. Everything blends well. I can taste the sugar. I, the crumbly is nice. This is a fabulous cookie. I think I'll have it in a bite. Mm. Okay. Let's start off with how the cookie looks. It's beautiful. I love it. I give it another nine. Flavor. Nine, bordering on ten. This is a fabulous cookie. I love it. Elizabeth's right. Gideon's is going to cost us a bloody fortune. This is delicious. Would I get it again? Do you really need to ask? So this is the original Gideon's. The chocolate chip. We've actually had this before right across the pathway here at Polite Pig. And we weren't as impressed as we wanted to be. It might be the hype, but there are at least two different kinds of chips on here. There are like bigger ones and smaller ones. So I know they use different um, brands of chocolate. So, and of course, being a chocolate chip cookie, they don't just put them on the top. They're all through the batter as well. For the health and safety of everyone, Face coverings must fully cover your nose and mouth, and be worn at all times. I don't remember why we didn't care for it, other than the fact that it's a $6 cookie. But it's also nearly half a pound. So in the grand scheme of things, it's not a bad price. The chocolate's really coming through. Maybe a little over the top compared to the cookie, because I do like the brown sugar vanilla butter of a cookie. But this is still a delicious chocolate chip cookie. It's not my favorite, but simply because it's a delicious chocolate chip cookie and they've had so many wonderful different kinds of cookies already. But I would buy it again. Now here's an interesting note. Gideon's website actually suggests that you not heat their cookies. You're supposed to eat them at room temperature because of the chocolate forwardness. Almost all their cookies have chocolate. If you warm them, the chocolate is the only note you really get. But because people love warm cookies, Gideon's actually has a hot cookie hour. I think it's at seven o'clock at night or something like that. I'm gonna guess they only have a few cookies left by then, but they do have a hot cookie hour, even if it's not their preferred way to eat one of their cookies. My favorite non-Gideon cookie is a traditional Toll House cookie. I love them. And this is far from a traditional Toll House cookie. It is a chocolate chip, there are chocolate chips, and it's a cookie. When I ate it over at the Polite Pig, I wasn't particularly impressed. But considering how good all the rest of these cookies have been, I'm willing to give it another try. There are different kinds of chocolate chips on here. It's a really thick cookie, so we'll give it a shot. And it's really good. The chocolate is the main flavor in this. So I can taste the cookie in there, but the chocolate kind of overpowers it, which is fine. I love chocolate, 
but I wish I could taste the cookie a little bit more. So I'm breaking it in half and see if I can get some without this much chocolate in it. Well, I can taste it, but the cookie... You still, you still took it from the arrowhead. You need this part. I have some now without any chocolate in it at all. Okay, I can taste it. It's a little bit like cookie dough. I'm not crazy about it, really. So, if I were to rate this cookie on flavor, it's still a delicious cookie. I'd give it a seven or an eight. On presentation, it's still a really cool looking cookie. I'd give that a nine. Would I get it again? Not with all the other choices of Gideon's cookies. For our final cookie, it's the pistachio toffee, which supposedly some reviewers feel like this is the one you should try first. It's the most in-depth. It has the most, the largest blend of flavors. I, I'm not sure how to really put that, but it's pistachios, it's toffee, it's chocolate chips, it's the butter cookie. Um, we're gonna see how all this blends together. I'm trying to make sure I get a little bit of everything here. All right, pistachio toffee chocolate chip cookie. Pistachio first, is that crunched? I'm really only getting a, a hint of the toffee, but it's there. Wow, they're right. The blend of flavors there, where the other chocolate cookies, especially just the chocolate chip, the chocolate was so forward, which is fine, it's a chocolate chip cookie. But here you, it's almost like the chocolate just adds richness and depth and smoothness. You don't really get like chocolate. It's pistachio, it's caramely from the toffee, it's smooth, it's rich, it's, it's delicious. I wonder if Gideon's has a cookie club or something. <laughs> so this is the pistachio toffee cookie. All right. My favorite candy bar is a Heath bar, so I love toffee. So let's see what this is like. Okay, this wasn't a quarter like I had last time. Oh wow. I got a big piece of toffee in there. The pistachios really add a nice flavor to it. The chocolate isn't too forward. Oh, this is a delightful cookie. I love this cookie. Okay. All the flavors go together very well. I like the toffee in it. The pistachios are just gorgeous and they taste good and they really add to the flavor. Everything works well with each other. The whole cookie is fabulous. For presentation, the green on top of the pistachios and the chocolate and the cookie, this is easily a nine, nine and a half. Flavor, Nine bordering on ten. This is this is a fabulous cookie. I'm glad I don't have to choose my favorite Gideon cookie. It simply wouldn't be fair. I love this cookie. Would I get it again? In a heartbeat. What he's not telling you all is he's not really even very fond of pistachios. He doesn't hate them. This is it. But they work really well with this cookie. Well, today at Disney Springs was pretty much just Gideon's. I might still want to walk around a little bit because I love walking out here, but it's all 1130 and it is getting crowded and I don't do crowds anymore. No, it's really, it's really filling up. However, if you're going to go to Gideon's, get here early. We got here as soon as the parking garage opened and there was already a line at Gideon's. So 
get here early if you're gonna go to Gideon's. We or were you're, or you're gonna be standing out for a long time. We were probably the, I don't know, 10th car in the garage and everybody was headed to Gideon's. And some of them were running. Well, not quite running, but moving pretty fast. They were power walking, so. Um, but Gideon's is totally worth it. I was very pleased, uh, a little surprised even. Maybe just that first chocolate chip cookie wasn't as fresh because it was shipped from downtown to um, down here to Polite Pig. You know, that's a possibility. But these were every one of them phenomenal. Trying to choose a favorite would be a, just about impossible. I wasn't as fond of the spicy eternal flame. I like it. It's a neat idea. The flavors do blend. It's just a little hot for me, especially for a dessert. Not for me. I enjoyed it. There is a little fire at the back of your throat, but it, it really kind of adds. I like it. I just think I needed maybe some milk with it. I have to admit that most of the time I'm eating spicy foods, it's either Cajun and I have a rum, or it's Mexican and I have a margarita. So <laughs> I'm not gonna do that with a chocolate, a chocolate cookie. But Margaritas aren't traditional with cookies. No, but really every flavor was good. Even the cookies and cream, surprising delicious things that you would think are normal just kind of everyday mundane flavors they're not at Gideon's not at Gideon's no they everything just really works well so every cookie is about six dollars but it's also nearly a half pound they have a six cookie limit per person which is three pounds of cookies so really not a problem however we got seven cookies because she ordered six I ordered one we got every cookie they had available today we will definitely be back to Disney Springs first thing in the morning to grab Gideon's, but not every week. <laughs> <laughs> At six bucks a cookie plus the calories, I think maybe this will be a special treat, but that's okay too. We're we, gonna have to come once a month to try the special monthly cookie, whatever that is. And we like special treats. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and tell us so. Hit that like button. Leave comments. Subscribe, we can always use more subscribers. Hey Maddie, this video's for you. Yes it is. If you're on social media, so are we. Come and see me on Instagram at Our Life Go. We also have a Facebook page, Our Life on the Go. I'm trying to be better about posting <laughs> pictures there as well as Instagram, but Instagram I'm hitting every day just about. Sometimes walking the dog, sometimes flowers, sometimes dizzy. You never know what you're gonna get on Instagram. So, with that said, I'm Art. I'm Elizabeth. And this is Our, Our Life, Life on, on the Go. go.